possibly six, but certainly five of the hostages have been released. A sixth person was seen uh, escaping from the building a few moments ago with a, with a jacket over his head. One of those hostages being treated in hospital. And we also know that the captor has been contacting with Australian uh, radio stations and uh, television stations with his demands, which include uh, an Islamic IS flag to be brought to the cafe. He also wants to speak to mm. the Prime Minister and he's warning of four other bombs. And this is how he's protecting himself. We've got this video footage coming in here and this is him using the hostages. You'll be able to see there's a, a woman, her face is, is blurred out there to protect her identity. You can see her hand being raised. We'll just run that again and we see how he's moving across the, the cafe uh, using uh, the hostages there as uh, human shields. Um, Sam Kiley, explain that one to us. Well, it's very uh, clear that he is somewhat out of his depth. He has a situation in which he's a lone gunman. Uh, the reports are that the weapon he's got, which uh, is in all likelihood a shotgun, if that is the case, that's not a weapon that you can use to kill a lot of people in a short space of time. It's not a machine gun, in other words. So what he's doing there is, is keeping this woman very, very close to him because he knows he will be in the sights of professional police snipers and Australian SAS who will also be on the ground from their counter-terrorism unit ready if they get the orders, which would probably have to come directly from the Prime Minister uh, to open fire and use lethal force. But at the moment, because there hasn't been any hostage death, uh, or indeed, even so far as we understand the threat to kill them, uh, they're, they're, uh, the avenues for negotiation are being kept open. Let's get the latest.